Hey guys, how's it going? Drew here. And again, guys, we have a special guest. We have Rex. Um, today's video, we are going to basically each go over our top five ways of getting free gigs. When I say gigs, basically saying that these are ways that we get hired for our photo booth rental services. Um, this, this applies to 360 booth, iPad photo booth, your traditional DSLR booth, just photo booths in general. Um, so yeah, guys, we didn't plan this. I don't know what Rex's top five are or what my, um, he doesn't know what mine are. So um, you want to go first or you want me to go first for the the, the first way we get free, uh, hired for free? Yeah, let, I, I have my top five and uh, they're, in, they're in particular order to I, what I feel is very important. So hopefully they're very similar to yours. These are my top five ways to get leads or businesses without ever having to pay. So you guys stay on this channel, keep watching, and I'll start with uh, my number five. My number five, are you ready? All I'm right, ready. Let, me, let me know if this is on your list. My number five is Google SEO. So everyone who has a business can go on Google, create a uh, GMB, it's Google called Google My Business, absolutely free, and Google is the king. It's the dominant lead source. And you definitely want to be on there. Now, now why I have it as my number five is because SEO is, is an art form. So that could be a totally another video. But to go and create a business, just to have an existence, to say, this is the name of my photo booth or my business. This is my address. This is my phone number. This is my website. It's absolutely free. And I think it's one of the most important ones. So that is my number five, Google. Interesting, man. That's on my list too. Um, that number five, it's higher up. But for me, on my list, number five is Craigslist slash face, Facebook Marketplace. Um, this is kind of a hack. Um, you can post on Facebook. Um, it, you're not really technically supposed to post for services, but you know you could kind of get in there by just putting photo booth. And then kind of hint that's a rental without saying it's a rental. And then you'll get tons of messages. People just, you know, you just have to be very vague with it. And Craigslist also has a for sale section. Craigslist isn't as, um, you know, they're not going to take you down. You can post services in for sale. But if you want to post under the service section in Craigslist, you have to pay $5. Um, this is not the most effective way to get leads. Maybe if we're talking to Mike five years ago, for sure. Um, as of lately, I think personally for us, we maybe get hired two times a month from this three times so and it's absolutely free right it's free. Craigslist the is free to everyone i love that one yeah that's man. pretty sneaky by the way it's a little, <laughs> it's a little trick a little trick but uh, yeah so that's my number five what do you what do you have at number four my number four is networking so go to network mixers go to so it's not 100 free you might end up buying a drink or you want to join the Chamber of Commerce, sometimes it's $10 per meeting. So it's minimal cost. Sometimes as a first timer, you can go on as a guest, but you definitely want to go um, networking. And another thing that you can do is pick up the phone and call venues around you. So if there's a Marriott or uh, you know Joe's banquet room, call and say, hey, who, who is the, the sales manager there? And say, hey, what can we do so we can work together? So network, that, that's huge. Go to um, networking events. We're gonna have one here very soon. And once you start meeting other people, other boothers, sometimes they have extra events or they're all booked or they're looking for somebody to fill up or white label. You wanna be inside that network. Of course it takes your time, but it's something free that you don't have to pay for. So that's my number four, networking. That's huge, man. I And I think that's probably one thing a lot of people don't like doing. You know, a lot of people may yeah. be very introvert and they may not like picking up the phone, but you guys get comfortable with doing things that are uncomfortable because usually those are the ones that pay out the most. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, I, I'm surprised it's that low on your list. That's 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 number one on mine. I'm spoiler. Alert, I just said it. That's number one. And I'm going <laughs> to get there. You guys, I'm going to explain a little bit more on why it's number one for me. Um, but you guys, like, like I'm saying, like, that's, it's huge, man. Networking is such a big, big deal and it can really make or break your business for sure. So that was good, man. I, that was, those are good points. Um, so for me, uh, we're on number four, right? Yeah, we just did number four. My number four was networking. Got it. Mine, and 
mine yeah. is um, to follow up with customers that you've all, you already ha- have, uh, that have already hired you. Oh yeah. yeah. That's yeah, a good man. reply. Yeah. So Ooh. to me, I think you're sitting, you know, if you're not utilizing this and you're not reaching out to old customers and just letting them know, like, Hey, if, you know, thanks for hiring us back then, you know, um, we're offering discounts to all of our previous customers. If you book us for an event later this year or whatever. And, um, it's, it, it works every single time. I, I swear we'll send out like a, a mass email to everyone. And, um, that's the way we get leads. So oh obviously God. what number was that for you or four? Yeah. So for you, I think we're now on number three. Yeah, I, I love that one. I just want to expand a little bit. Those are really good for uh, uh, corporate Christmas parties or uh, Easter bunny photos because they like to work with the same crew. So if you already have an existing client, uh, mm-hmm. we call that, I, I guess it wouldn't be really a follow up, but it is just reaching out to existing customers. And that's absolutely free. I, I That's got to be real high on the list. So I like that one a lot. Yeah, and too, like, bro, like they already, you already know that they're going to be easy to deal with because you've dealt with them. There's yeah. going to be surprises. They already know, you know, it's less desk time. They're not going to ask a bunch of questions. They're familiar with the service already. So it's like, correct. yeah, to me. So I think because they go, oh, is, is it going to be in the same location? Same location. Am I going to have access to electrical? Yes. We're yeah. going to put you in the same spot. We love what you did. We want to have you back this year. So that's, that's an absolute winner. I like that one. Yeah, and man, these events that uh, the repeat customers, these are the ones I love to hire out. Um, so I like, you know, like we had a few this past weekend. I think we had like five events, and like four of them referrals. And um, my employee, I was, I felt comfortable being in another country because I knew that he wasn't going to run in, into any issues for those events because we've dealt with them. We knew the location. I could, I already told him like where to go. So, yeah, that that was a huge plus. So, uh, Rex, what do you have right. at number three? What's your number three? My number three is uh, social media. So um, a lot of people are against Yelp, but I use Yelp every time I want to go to a restaurant. And believe me, even though you may not want to advertise with Yelp, it costs you zero dollars to create a profile on there. And it's really great because it, it allows you to create social proof is a hey, my business actually exists. We're not going to rip you off. I have. 25 star reviews. Here are the photos. You can also do like the, the Facebook, Facebook marketplace. And, um, oh, Pinterest brides love Pinterest. Pinterest is a free account, have an Instagram account. So anytime you've done an event or, uh, you have some output from your photos, something interesting that you want to share, run your Instagram page. It costs you nothing to do that. And, and the one that I, you know, I see a lot of people do. I'm not really so sure what the effectiveness of it, but I see a lot of photo boothers doing TikTok. So they're doing TikTok videos. So my number three is all forms of social media because it's free. Yeah. That's that's high on my list too. <laughs> so, yeah. but it's not number three for me, man. Number three for me is, you could call this social media, but I think it's so effective. It deserves its own spot and it's, Facebook groups. Ah, uh, joining social media. Mm-hmm. Yep, it is. It is. But, but for us, it's been so effective. I, I, I think it deserves its own. Um, so what I mean for my Facebook groups, you guys is join local groups. So let's say you live in a, you're, you live in Covina. That's the name of your city. Well, on Facebook, there's a ton of groups that are related to the city of Covina. You have Covina moms or Covina soccer moms or Co- Covina 411, where you have maybe 40 to 50,000 people that live in that city that are in that group. And what you do is you make just a generic post, just introducing yourself, your company. And um, you don't want to make it sound spammy. You want to also re- um, offer something for free. I, that's how we do it. Or, um, you know, maybe 30, 30 minutes, the hour say, if you guys book us and you're from this group, this is what you'll get exclusively just for you. So we copy and paste that um, maybe like once a week, we do the rounds with the groups and it's effective. It gets us a lot of work. And the best thing about it is most of those people are local. So we're not going to have to drive far. I know what city they're from because they're in the Covina group and um, it's free. 
but you got to be careful because if you oversaturate it and you spam it, you'll get kicked out of the groups. So it's kind of like a once a week or once in every while type of deal. What's your favorite use? Uh, what's your favorite group right now? Man, there's one in my uh, neighborhood. Um, it's like a four on one page. And I think there's like 80,000 people in that group or something crazy. It's like, cow. but they're active though. You know, you'll, there'll be some groups where there's a lot of members, but they're not active. This one has a lot of members and they're active. Yeah. I like that one. Yeah. Um, our, our favorite is probably um, the Orange County wedding group. So there's always other vendors asking, Hey, I have clients asking for a DJ or a photo booth. And yeah. these are people that you see at events all the time. So that's a good that's point. Fun. Yeah, there are there are a ton of like SoCal wedding. Yeah, but um, yeah, man, there's a lot of competition in there too. But it's also a great way to network, right? Meet other yeah. vendors and stuff too. Are you in any any bride groups? Hey, oh, yeah. I just got engaged. I those, am, those are actually pretty good too. Yeah, I'm not man. a bride. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many groups I'm a part of, but you know, like I said, you guys, it's free. You know, that's a little point. It's free. All you have to do is just put in the work. Like literally, I always tell people like have have these messages on hand on your phone. Create a note, have a message uh, for vendors that you're going to send out to for event planners. And literally, you guys, while you're on the toilet, just grab your phone out. <laughs> Take 10 minutes. Seriously, every day, 10 minutes. You'll be surprised how far. Like I, I landed, man, one of our um, biggest networking I don't know what to call it, but we networked our way into working with the venue. And, nice. and literally, I, I remember I sent them the initial message while I was on the toilet. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I, know. I don't know it's, what it's to sound, say. Hey. I don't know whether to say congratulations or too much information. <laughs> Dude, but like the, what I'm trying to say is like, you don't need to like spend a lot of time. Like, the, like there's just no excuse. That's what I'm trying to say. If I can land a profitable and a really good relationship for my business in that little amount of time, there's literally no excuse, man. And I, I, I know it sounds really weird to say that I was on the toilet, but it's true. So that is the next um, one, right? So we're, yes. we're I, I got sidetracked. I got, <laughs> I brought that up and I'm like, I lost. Yeah, some. that was uh, number three. So now um, down to my number two. Yeah, you ready? Yep. Let's go. My number two is, self-promotion anywhere you go hand out your business card it costs you nothing if you're at like i was at my my kids basketball game and we were just talking oh wow it's three in the afternoon you know what how you how are you here i said oh i work for myself what do you do and they got you know i told them and the guy goes oh man i'm looking for that we were looking for somebody for you know my parents 50th anniversary and boom I mean, who would have thunk, right? And if, if I wasn't self-promoting, so my way of self-promoting is all free. I will get on my personal Facebook page and I like to do stories or reels. It only lasts 48 hours. Um, I don't uh, over spam my own page. I don't do too many um, like um, non-interesting posts. So it's, I might end up being at a school or like this week, I, I, did a, um, I did a recruiting event at a university and they saw it, someone saw it and said, oh, that's cool. I graduated from there, that's so cool. So people notice these things. So self for, under self-promotion, um, network, do Facebook stories, hand out, hand out your business cards and let people know what you do. Before I was really private. I, you know, I just be very quiet, but now, now it's like, Hey, check this out on my phone. This is what we just did. Or here's my business card. Give me a call or check out my stories. You know, people, a lot of people in my own circle have no idea besides being a dad, what I do for a living. And some people don't like to talk about it, but yeah. in my case, it's to my benefit. So yeah. I was always posting um, stories about what I do. So that's my self-promotion. That's my number two. And that's actually worked very well. I love that. That's not on my list. It should be though. That's, that's a great point, man. I think a lot you of people- You don't do stories when you do, when you go do your setups and you're like, oh, we're at, you know, this farm or this vineyard. Hey, just, check out. Just, wow. on, just on our business social media, not for my personal page. I just, um, I don't, I don't have many friends, man. I know that's, <laughs> I don't have a lot of- uh, Says the guy that has 200- 2,500 subscribers. <laughs> oh, 
no 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 man i mean like my girl though she she self-promotes on her page and um man a lot of people support her on there i think i've done it like a few times and like i don't know i should do it though you're right that's a great point man um okay so number two for me man is uh social media which you already touched up on. Um, yeah. I'm not going to go over what you said. I, I agree 100% with everything you said. Um, one thing I do like to do is, uh, oh, we lost Rex, guys. Um, oh, hold on. I'm trying to kill this call. There you go. Okay. So yeah, man. So social media for me, um, we've gotten a lot of events um, literally just from posting at venues and using the hashtag of the venue. So what we'll do is we'll like, let's say we're at a place called um, Hearst Ranch. So we'll post up, do a lot of content there. And then we put Hearst Ranch. Then that way, when people are searching Hearst Ranch, could be a potential customer. Um, let me add Rex back in here. Okay. So, uh, sorry, I'm just going to continue what I was saying. So when um, people use the hashtag, um, when they search the hashtag, it could be a bride and groom, right? That potentially want to book that venue. So they go to Instagram, they put in the hashtag, they're interested to seeing what it is. Um, and yeah, we've, we've booked plenty of events like that. Uh, so when you're gone, I was just saying that I use hashtags when we're at venues for the um, for our photo booth on our page. Yes, but where are and you putting your hashtags? On you're the phone. On Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Ah, oh, Instagram, yes. Yeah. So, so we, social media, I love that. We get, we get tons of people that like, that are going to be work. Um, I'm sorry, they're going to be, their event is going to be at the venue. So they search the venue's hashtag. So like Hearst Ranch, uh, for instance, is one that we got. Someone typed it in, right? A bride and groom, they're planning their wedding there. And they wanted to see other people that have been there. And they found our photo booth. And that that led to an $800 gig. You know, wow. it was I've had people all day, three hours of printing. Um, we ha had like so many, you know, and it's literally just hashtag. Like that's it. So that's what so I was. Do you calling. do you do uh, like Hearst Ranch and then just hashtag? You do Hearst Ranch photo booth, everything. Hearst Ranch for talk everything. Yeah, Hearst wow. Ranch just just the venue and then the venue with um with the photo booth after. But I, I honestly think it's just the hashtag then the venue name. I think that one's the most effective. Got but, it. I'm gonna have to try that. That's a good one. I yeah. Think about that. Hash do a hashtag for the venue. Yeah, it's free. They, I love it. They may even have a like, right? Like, let's say someone because they reached out, right? I for Hearst Ranch, the lady that reached out, she's like, "Yeah, I'm getting married here. Um, I had a photo booth that I was thinking of using, but I like the fact that you've been there already." And I was like, "Yeah, I know the venue well. I know the staff. I know how everything works. Um, you know, you book with us. There's less chance of any any like setup it's issues. Up, or, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, you know, you want to hire someone that that knows the venue. You know, you don't want to have any last minute surprises or just stuff like that. So another thing I think why getting jobs using social media is good is because you're killing two birds with one stone. One, it's going to help you get leads. It's going to also, two, um, it just shows that your business is proactive. It shows it's legit, right? Like if I go, if yes. I want to, yeah, it just, it just shows that you guys are an actual company and that you're active and you're still in business. And then three, you're building your brand, you know, like that's just another thing too. Like you, you're getting a chance to, um, build your company so yeah that's that's for me that's number two i think it's super strong in it and again it's free yes so rex number one man where do you oh you... man now we gotta hear yeah, that we gotta do the drum roll drum roll please all right my my number one if i if i'm the the hands down best way free um way to get a lead or a client is friends and family referrals. That's the best one. You know, I let my, my family and friends know what it is that I do. And just through word of mouth, so-and-so daughter's having a birthday party. So-and-so's daughter's getting married. Referrals are my number one, hands down, whether it's from an event that I've already done from another planner, from a neighbor, from friends and family, from parents on my kid's basketball team, friends family referrals is is definitely number one because if you already done an event with them then they already familiar with you they know what it is that you do it's kind of like a um the event planner at a venue they already know what you do 
They're going to easily refer you. So yeah, this guy was just here last week. He does that. You want it with prints? He does that. And I've seen them. They're very sharp. And their, their reputation is on the line. So they're just not going to represent Joe Blow. That's the problem when no one's seen your work. And so if you're fairly new, you're, you're looking to get leads for free, look, let, let your friends and family know what it is that you do and keep showing them. And, and also um, in that friends and family realm, don't be afraid to, to use them. And that's a terrible word to, you, to, to say, but uh, to include them in your exposure, maybe, maybe do something for your, your kid's class or uh, somebody that's getting your cousin who's getting married uh, or who has a birthday in your family, they're gonna turn 15 or whatever, offer the photo booth as a gift so your family knows what is it. And then, cause I have family member goes, oh, I, I didn't know that's what it is that you did. I thought you had a camera and you went around and you took pictures. Well, yeah, we do that too, but check this out. You know, it's been a while since they've been to a wedding or they've been to an event where uh, the camera takes a picture and now they're able to print on the spot. So that's very, very cool for them to see. So you said so, you, you offered as a free gift? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Good. To friends and family. Yeah, you yeah. Know, I don't want to take my neighbor's money or, or you know, and, and I'll offer it to them as, as a gift. And it's one way for me to take out uh, one of my new booths or one of my new services, whether uh, it's the selfie booth or the boomerang or the GIF. And, and I do it through friends and family because I'm not going to give it to a stranger. Yeah, and really quick, really quick. Uh, you guys, that is important because if you're going to do what Rex is doing and offering for free, take the time and squeeze as much as you can out of that. So if you're going to be there, you guys, you know, if it's going to be for free, bust out your camera, get content for your social, get some interviews from people that have used the booth as testimonials that you yeah. can give customers. Um, and then you guys too, like leave business cards, leave information. Cause if you're going to do it for free, you want to get as much as you can possible, you know, and that, that free gig, like I'm sure you're aware of, like you said, can turn into like, who knows how many other events that are paid. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So, and we don't do it all the time. Um, but in this particular case, the friends and family referral has worked out really, really well. Nice. So, no, that's my number one. Yeah. And then it's interesting to hear you say that because you're someone that's been around, you know, in the business for a long time. This is something that I feel like a lot of people just starting off should do. To overlook. They're, they're yeah. timid with their service. And this is one way for you to get out there, uh, to build your confidence, to build your business, to build your brand, to build awareness, to educate your family on what is it's a chance to show off to your family as well. And, and to offer them something really nice and a value. Yeah. It, it's a win-win for everybody. Dude, and I love that one. I'm sure it makes you look cool too. Like, you know, like, wow, man, Rex is such a nice guy. Like he just offered his photo booth or, you know, for free, like what a good, what a good brother, you know, like <laughs> you're doing something nice too. Absolutely. Cool, Absolutely. man. That, that's awesome. That was All right. What's your number one, Drew? I, I already said it and it's networking. Um, but you guys, this to me is the most important because all it takes is a few um connections you know relationships with with really really busy venues and uh wedding planners to keep you busy for the year we have one lady that literally will bring us i think i calculated over 20 events this whole year and i literally don't do any of the work she she gets all the info from her customers um to me i i view these connections and i this i hope this doesn't sound wrong um these connections i made through networking are like sales employees that I don't have to pay. It's free. It's free because they're they're out there. They're offering their you know their customers our services with the free upgrades which we do. We do um, if it's a print event, we give them thirty minutes for free, and we also um, include like um, free text and email option. So you know you'll be surprised, man. A lot of these um, event planners and venues they don't want money. A lot of people, no, they yeah. don't. They think they a lot of, like, like a lot of people getting into the business. They're like, yeah, I'll offer them twenty percent or ten percent. I'm like, most of the time, man, they just they just want to bring value to their customers. Yes, and that's why you know that little text message, man. Well, I'm telling you, I, I send out. Well, you know, I'm doing stuff, or if I have free time, it just says like like look, like we want to add value to your customers. This is what we can offer, um, and then I always 
always say like, if you have an event coming up, um, I'm so confident that, you know, we can build a good relationship. We'll do an event for you for free. Or if you have any, you know, the, I don't know what they call it in the industry, but like sometimes I'll call and, and I'll see, or I usually email, email is the best way for me. Um, if they have any tasting events, a lot of times these venues will have like a, a day where all, all the people that are going to be booking later in the year have, um, they want to come to the venue. They want to taste the food. They want to meet vendors. If you can get into one of those, it's usually, it's a good thing to do because, you know, we did one earlier this year, man. And it, like we were there for three hours. There was about maybe 50 to 60 couples there. We booked on the spot five events and then later on like four more. So, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then for that, it always leads to more, you know what I mean? Like yes, yes hired for nine, but out of those nine, we will probably book maybe like four more events for their, you know, for whatever reason they, uh, whatever occasion it is. But yeah, I mean, you already, you already not, um, talked about it, everything you said about networking and, um, you guys don't be shy to reach out to other photo booth companies. Just like Rex said, you'll be surprised how many people are actually looking to hire out, um, for their company. Um, yeah. How much more time do we have? I, I think want. we have four and a half minutes. Yeah. I'll, I'll make it quick. Yeah. So, so number one, I'm going to ask you, do you know why it is that um, professional planners don't really care about your 20% or don't want your money? Hmm. I would think it is because it's just not worth it. Yeah. They're charging enough already, which yeah. is what photo boosters should do. They want to create value. They want to bring value to a client. And how would it look if the photo booth something happened with the photo booth and the client found out the only reason that the planner referred them is because they got a 20% commission. Mm -hmm. You know, that's horrible because planners, when they say somebody's name, their name is on the line. So they don't care about the money. They just like what you were saying earlier, you get a chance to show up in front of a, a, a planner, go all out, bring every single staff member you have, bring every single service and do it to the best of your ability and show out and impress them because week after week they've seen photo booths. Yes, they, sir. But but they, but have they, how many good photo booths have they seen? And people who can do a smooth uh, ex from execution from beginning to end. So that was a great point. You want to show out in front of your your planners, and two, you don't need to bribe them. They don't want your money. They just want to look good to their client because they charge enough, which means that you as a photo booth should charge enough as well. Mm -hmm. And then on that note, with the networking, um, maybe we can put in the link down below. SoCal Photo Booth Network on Facebook is a big group where we network a lot and we give each other overflows. And even as a photo boother, before you give, I give my work to somebody else to white label or represent me, I want to know who they are. What, what, are, what yeah. is their demeanor like? What is the quality of their work? So this goes back to the networking and self-promotion. I think a lot of it is tied together. At mm -hmm. least, you know, show me your social media page or what does your website look like? So those are all things besides, the, you can even get a website for free, but, you know, you can build a, a, a profile on Instagram very well and, and share that with others. So, yeah. um, you know, if you happen to be in, in SoCal, we are doing a, a meetup next week and we do this like uh, four quarters a year. So this is what we're talking about when we are talking about being in, in certain groups is we're meeting at K1. And we'll get together and we'll have drinks and we'll crash into each other and we'll have a good time, you know, yeah. and, 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 then, and so you want to put that in the link below, you want to check that out. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, I love, I loved your top five, Drew. I loved Thanks. your top five. Yeah. Real quick too. Just the last thing I want to say, just to piggyback on what you said. So before you offer these free photo booths and all this to, um, the event planners, the venues, uh, and I'm only looking out for you guys, and I don't want this to sound the wrong way. Make sure first that they're established. You don't want to do a free event for someone that's literally just getting into the business. It may not be beneficial for you right away. Um, like if you want, you want to pick and choose who you work with. And the great thing that we do is we go on Instagram. If they have a good following, they have a good um, track record that you can see, then I would definitely then offer the free events for them 
right away. Not saying not to work with people that, you know, that are just getting started, but it'll benefit you more faster if you um, look and you see if if they've been in the, the, you know, look at the reviews. How many followers do they have? Um, how busy are they? Um, and all that. But dang, okay, man, we're running out of time. We got to wrap it up. It says less than a minute here. Wow. Uh, guys, before Close we sign off, go to Rex's channel. It's in the description. If you guys uh, want to give back to the channel anyway, do it by going to Rex's channel. Subscribe. Oh, thank you, brother. Comment on his videos. Let him let him know. Show him some love. And you guys, tell him to make some more content. We need Rex. We need Rex videos ASAP. Thank you, brother. All right, man. Love you, man. Take care. All right, buddy.